In this video, we're going to talk about Roman numerals. So the first thing you need to know is the letters and the numbers that relate to them. I is equivalent to 1. V corresponds to 5. X is equal to 10. And L represents 50. C is 100. Think of a century, which is 100 years. D equals 500. And finally, M is 1000. A millennium represents 1000 years. Now, let's work on some practice problems. So let's say if I gave you this number, I, 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 what number does that correspond to? If you have three I's, it's basically add in one three times. So this corresponds to three. Now what about V, I, I, what is that equal to? So V corresponds to 5, and I is 1. So this is 5 plus 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 7. So based on those two examples, try these two. Convert these Roman numerals into numbers. X, V, I, I, and L, X, V. Feel free to pause the video. X is equal to 10. V is 5, and I is 1. So we have 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. 10 plus 5 is 15. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this adds up to 17. So X, V, I, I is equivalent to 17. Now for the next example, L, we know it's 50. X is 10. V is 5. So 50 plus 10 is 60. 60 plus 5 is 65. So that's it for those two examples. Now let's try two more, but let's use large numbers. So let's say we have C L V I I and also C C L X X V I. So go ahead and convert those two Roman numerals into numbers. So C is 100, L represents 50. V is 5, and I is 1. So we have 100 plus 50, that's 150, and then 5 plus 1 plus 1 is 7. So this turns out to be 157. Now what about the second example? Go ahead and try that one. So we have C, which is 100, plus another C, and then plus L, which is 50, plus 2X, so x and x is 10 and 10, v is 5, and then i is 1. So 100 plus 100 is 200, and then 50 plus 10 plus 10, that's 70. 5 plus 1 is 6, so this adds up to 276. Now what is the difference between the values of these two Roman numerals? So what do you think they equal? Are they the same? They both contain a V and an I. So we know V stands for 5, I stands for 1. The only difference is the order in which the letters are written. So does the order matter? Let's find out. VI stands for 6. V plus I or 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Now what you need to know is that when you're arranging Roman numerals, if you're going from a big number to a small number, what you need to do is you need to add. Now, if you're going from a small number to a big number, then you need to subtract. I ran out of space there. Now, you don't want to say 1 minus 5 because that's going to give you a negative number. So you don't want to subtract it that way. You want to subtract the big number by the small number. So it's going to be 5 minus 1, which is 4. So you need to know that IV is equal to 4, whereas the VI is equal to 6. Now go ahead and try these two examples, XI and IX. So X is 10, I is 1. Are we adding or are we subtracting? Well, we're going from 
a big number to a small number. So therefore, we need to add. So this is going to be 10 plus 1, which is 11. Now, i is 1, x is 10. So this time, we're going from a small number to a big number. So we need to subtract, but we're going to subtract it this way. 10 minus 1 is 9. So ix is 9, xi is 11. So go ahead and try these two, xc and cx. Feel free to pause the video. So x is 10, c is 100. So we're going from a small number to a large number. Therefore, we need to subtract. So this is going to be 100 minus 10, which is 90. Now for the other one, it's 100 and then 10. So we're going from a big to a small number. Therefore, we need to add. So this is going to be 110. So hopefully this gave you a good idea of when you need to add compared to when you need to subtract. So let's try some harder examples. Go ahead and convert the following Roman numeral into a number. So we have an x, which is 10. C represents 100. V represents 5. I represents 1. So notice that here the numbers are increasing and then here it's decreasing. So here it's not in descendant order which means we need to subtract those numbers. So let's focus on XC. XC represents 100 minus 10 which is 90. So this whole thing is 90. So we have 90 and then plus 5 plus 1. So these numbers are in descendant order which means we need to add them. So this is equal to 96. Now let's go ahead and try these two examples. DC IX and also CD XL IV. So feel free to pause the video and try those two problems. So we know that D represents 500, C is 100, I is 1, X is 10. So going from 500 to 100 to 1, it's in descending order, which is what it should be. So we need to add. 500 plus 100 is 600. Now looking at the last two, notice that it's in ascending order. It's going up. It's going from a small number to a big number. So therefore, we need to subtract. So 10 minus 1 is 9. So this is going to be 600 plus 9, which is 609. So DCIX represents that number. Now let's try this example. C is 100, D is 500, X is 10, L is 50, I is 1, and V is 5. Looking at the first two numbers, notice that we're going from a small number to a big number. So therefore, subtraction is what we got to use. So this is going to be 500 minus 100, and that's 400. Now, the situation is the same for the next two. We're going from a small number to a big number. And so we got to subtract 50 by 10, which is 40. And for the last two, we can see the same situation. So it's going to be 5 minus 1, which is 4. 400 plus 40 plus 4 is equal to 444. And so that is the value of CDXLIV. Now let's work backwards. Let's convert a number into a Roman numeral. So how can we convert 18 into a Roman numeral? Feel free to try that problem. So 18 is basically 10 plus 5 plus 3. And 3 is basically 1 plus 1 plus 1. And so what you want to do is when you have a number, break it down into numbers that contain, let's say, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 5, or 1. You want to break it down into numbers of the Roman numerals. So we know that 10 is x, 5 is v, and 1 is i, and we have three of them. So 18 is basically x, v, i, i, i. Let's try another example, 34. Go ahead and convert that into a Roman numeral. So 30 
is 10 plus 10 plus 10, so that's 30. Now 4, we don't want to say that's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Rather, it's easier to say 4 is 5 minus 1. So since we have a subtraction, we need to write the letters in reverse order. So 10 is x, so we have three x letters, and this is going to be v, and that's i, but instead of writing vi, which is 6, we need to write iv, which is 4. So don't forget to reverse it when dealing with subtraction. So 34 is going to represent x, 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 iv. Let's try two more examples, 97 and 176. Go ahead and work on those. So 97 is 90 plus 5 plus 1 plus another 1. Now 90, we don't want to represent that as 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. It's easier to say that it's 100 minus 10. And so since we have a subtraction situation, we need to reverse the letters. So we know 100 is a century, that's C. X is 10. So we're not going to write CX, but rather XC to represent 90. And then 5 is V. I is 1. So this is going to be X, C, V, I, I. So that's 97. Now what about 176? So we could say this is 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. So we have no numbers in ascending order, so we can just write it like this. 100 is C, 50 is L, X is 10, and there's another 10, and then VI. So 176 is simply CLXXVI. Let's try one more problem. Let's convert the year 1846 into Roman numerals. Go ahead and try it. So 1,846. Let's break it down into smaller numbers. So we have 1,000 and then 800, which we can write it as 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. And then 46, we can write that as 40 plus 6, and 6 is going to be 5 plus 1. So that's 1,846. So 4,000, we can just write M. And for 500, we could say that that's a D. And then we have three 100s. So that's going to be C, C, C. And so far, the numbers are in descending order. We're going from big numbers to small numbers. Now 40, 40 is really 50 minus 10. So we need to write two numbers in reverse. 50 is L, 10 is X. So 40 is going to be not LX because that's 60, but rather XL in reverse order. And then 5 plus 1, that's just going to be VI. So our answer is what we see right here. So the year 1846 can be written as MDCCCXLVI. And that's it.